Hello, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to make use of rows and permission. Last tutorial, we talked about authentication, which is same as enabling login system. So in this tutorial, since we have enabled login system, we are now going to proceed with authentic with um, rows and permission. But first thing you have to understand is that before you enable rows and permission, you must have enable authentication. It is compulsory to enable. So let me log out here. And let me check this thing off. Okay, as you can see, it's off. And we say, all right, and we'll preview this. As you can see, I can't access the username. Remember the code we typed earlier on. Um, let me try to come over here and denon. All right, so um, let's try to enable the roles and permission from here. It says, please configure login before you set up system permission and roles access. So um, one of the things you need to enable is the authentication. That is the same as registration or login system, whatever you call it. It's all the same thing. Login and registration setup, they are the same. Just enable it, make sure you've set it up. If you don't know how to do that, check my last video before this one. And that's tutorial number eight. Check it and you're going to learn how to enable it. Once you are done, click OK and let's proceed. All right, so let's log in with user one. All right, so to make use of rules and permission, first of all, I want you to understand what it does. What rules and permission helps you to do is to decide who will see this and who will not see it. You want to decide between this set of people who do you want to have access to a particular something or a particular page and who don't should we take that access away from it's more like it's more it's more like hide what are we going to hide from these people what are we going to hide from that people or what are we going to show these people that we won't show the other people so that is basically what rules and permission helps us to achieve but to achieve this thing therefore you have to group all your users into categories um you may like to group them the most common one everybody use is grouping them into two by deciding all these users who amongst them are admin who amongst them are just a simple users so out of all the people who have logged in into your web application you want to decide who is, uh, I'm sorry I'm not explaining, I'm using voice, I believe the voice will be enough. You want to explain among all these people, who is going to be, uh, who is going to be in charge? Well, let's start by doing something, okay? Let me start by creating, um, let me create multiple, let me create more tables. So this table, table, I'm going to call it product because that's the most common platform everybody understands most product no let's let's call it name 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 of the product price price then quantity and um timestamp it is it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter okay um the table name will be product product so we have made a simple img let's add img here so we've made let's save this thing and let's preview this thing Right, so you can come to this product now. So let's try to add something to our to our data. The product name is I don't know. Let me first of all select an IMG. Okay, the product name will be okay tomatoes. Um, the quantity is hundred pieces. The price is twenty dollars or whatever. Um, the name is tomatoes. And is this tomatoes or apple? This is this is apple. This is this is apple, but the colors is looks looks like looks like tomatoes. All right, apple. All right, so we've submitted it. Um, the image is not coming because we didn't enable this IMG to be in IMG format. Just come over here, make it IMG, and make it smaller by saying 40, 40, 40. All right, so we save it. Okay, they have come like the tomato picture, uh, the apple picture it is. So now, um, let's go to our users. So far, we have this guy, which is admin, and we have this one, which is user. All right, let me 
register another person or yeah let's log out and log in with another account let's log in let's log in with um let's register another account this account we are going to call it admin and this over here the email will be admin admin at gmail.com it should be admin one because you're not the first admin admin one so one two three four all right three four the role is admin admin so the img for admin our admin this 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 guy should be our admin all right the timestamp is time all right so we have it so let's go to our users so we have two admins so we want to change this guy to be we don't want him to be admin again back we want this guy to be a uh, user so let's see if it actually works okay it's user now so that is it we are ready to jump in into roles and permission now let's click on roles and permission and there are two types of roles and permission in this tutorial i'm going to explain this static roles and permission alone i have explained dynamic roles and permission earlier on so i'm going to um, add the link below in the description so that you click on it, it takes you to the dynamic roles and permission i've explained long ago when it came new so i'm going to enable the static roles and permission now we are going to select the field now this field is talking about remember the table you used for your login the authentication good so we use this user so inside this user which of the field do you want to check from so that is what this guy is asking us we've selected static and it's saying inside the table in the table you used to use this, inside that user which of the field you want me to be checking from okay we want this row because inside this row we have our categories and these categories are the admin category the user categories we may go on and on and on and add those categories so by default php rad gives us this which i'm going to remove them then i'm going to add what i have in my category okay um let me let in my own case i have this I don't want to restore default localhost uh, class. All right, so we log in as admin. So these are the categories. Admin is one category. User is one category. All these things, as you can see, this. Is, so we have so far two: the admin and user. So we come over here and we are going to type it admin. It um this side is very case sensitive so you have to make sure to use small letters depending on what you typed here just come over here and type it completely so we want um the admins to be able to view all pages but we want users to view only um product list page so now all these pages that i didn't select or i didn't check the users won't see it but admin can see all of them and we hit ok and we preview so remember i logged in as i let me log out now let me log in again as user one one two three four so user one can only see product list and user one cannot even add if i click if i add this thing add say you are not authorized to access this page so let's go back so let me log out again and log in as admin as you can see admin have the access to view users products and even add products so basically that is how roles and permission work but there are more explanation i want to do here uh when we talk about roles and permission uh there are there are there are there are two stages to take that control it's is 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 more is more of saying um going to our table and we look into our table and we fetch some records and inside those records we're going to check if the record is admin if the record field called role if that field has admin 
then we want to do this if not we want to do that so using if statement you are controlling it directly from php server um, using where there are some places you have to use where statement then you control it from the sql that's the structural query language so the record will not even be fetched when you control it from the sql the record won't be fetched but when you control it from the admin the records will be fetched but won't be displayed won't be rendered to html dom i don't know how to explain further but let me try to um explain this maybe whenever when we are talking about this records and management and that's going to be in our next tutorial so i want to say a very big thank you and i'll catch you in the next one